Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? So here we are, the next video in the series for FED Elements, and I got a request to do a Stengel dive. So that's what we have here. This is the final version. I think it came out pretty well. Uh, one thing I want to say is that uh, while I was researching st Stengel dives, I noticed that uh, they could take various shapes. Uh, of the three main ones I looked at were the the one that was on Goliath at Wallaby in Holland, uh, the one on Skyrush at Hershey Park, and the one on Maverick. And they're all quite different, although they all have the similarity of, of being basically a turn at the top of a hill uh, and then a dive down. Uh, they all do look quite different though. So um, I, in this episode, am trying to recreate the one at Goliath at, at Wallaby because that's the one I consider uh, th when I think of a Stengel dive, that's what I think of. But uh, if somebody wants me to recreate the one on either Hershey Park or uh, at Maverick, I can do that as well. With that being said, I want to say also that I am really enjoying the series because so far I've gotten requests for two things that I had never done before and you all are really challenging me to do things in FED that I had never really tried. And uh, the, the nice thing about that is I'm stepping outside of my comfort zone and learning how to do shaping and, and, and imitating a specific manufacturer's uh, build style much better. So uh, keep it up. If anybody wants to see anything, so far we've done the hammerhead turn. Now we've done the shingle dive. Uh, I'm, I plan on doing every type of inversion, but if there's anything in particular you want to see, let me know because it really is helping me out as well. So with all that being said, let's take a look at our first effort, which ugh, looks terrible. Uh, you can see here, this was the first try I did. It looks all wrong. The shaping is terrible. The It rides all right, but it doesn't even really turn anywhere away from the, the structure so much. Well, here we can't even see the track, but whatever. Uh, come on, man. All right. Actually, let me show this for you. Sorry about that. edit okay here we go all right so you can see it rides all right but uh, still it's not quite right because if you look at it from the side the shaping is all wrong uh everything is just not right about it so i took a step back and i thought to myself how would i fix this and and sometimes you have to do that in fed you can see already this one looks much better uh one thing that that you have to do is maybe take a look at the shape of the element that you're trying to recreate really take a good look at it from all angles so when i did that with the picture of goliath i started to notice that it was very rounded at the top and and uh, the and very almost triangular looking it has a very uh shallow uh, drop coming out of it so this one is fairly shallow the one on goliath is actually more shallow but i compared some pictures from this angle uh just to see if it looked basically the same the turn radius up here or the turn angle at the top is actually exactly the same from everything that i could find goliath is 121 degrees and this one is 120.67 or something like that so close enough um and it definitely rides like it as well so that's two things that you want to do or the second thing excuse me is if you're trying to recreate an element and you're having trouble with it the best thing to do is think in your head what it would feel like to ride through that element from start to finish where would you be feeling positive g's where would you be feeling normal g's where would you be feeling uh, negative G's and where would you be turning and so forth? So you can see quite a difference here because I started thinking about that. I thought, well, given the fact that that this turn actually it's not this is more like a wave turn here on the first version. On this turn, you can see I added positive G's right here because I thought there have there has to be positive G's here for it to turn like this the way it comes up. Uh, to the left like that um, and then when I looked at some more I had floater air here and I thought I've ridden the Skyrush and Maverick and I don't recall either of them having floater air in that section of course you go through them so quickly it's it's difficult to tell but uh, I don't recall them having that and certainly Goliath didn't look like it was having floater air so instead of having this come up and sort of go into floater air I made this more of uh, about normal G's right here. 
So let's take a look at the graph real fast. We'll go to the forces, and also, as always, I will have this, uh, this file for you to download uh, in the description, and you'll see right here we have Stengel Dive 2.0. I'll probably just change that to Stengel Dive dot final, just like we have the Hammerhead final here. And also what I'm doing is just continuing this coaster along. So this is going to end up being a really weird coaster because it's going to have all these elements in it that, that are really disparate and don't go together. But that's all right. Maybe it'll turn out to be an interesting ride. All right, so let's go back here and look at the graph. You see it's fairly simple. Uh, let's start about right here at the bottom of our... This is the end of our uh, hammerhead turn. Uh, so you can see basically all I did was uh, decrease the the positive Gs from about, I think it was at about 3.1, 3.2 right here. Took it down to around 1-ish. Uh, so it, it just kind of goes out at a slight angle. And this is, what, this is the trick right here. This is where I was having so much trouble. Uh, this quartic function in the middle right here uh, I increased the the G's and you can see what happens if I take those away it starts to become it still looks very similar but it, it, it it's not quite exactly what it should be and it's got this sort of bump coming out of it and that sort of thing so let me take that out of there put it back to what it's supposed to be and you can see that it just seems to come out of it better and uh, the, the overall look of it is better the shape is better everything so <clears throat> that was for the actual up and down portion of the hill for the overbank what we have here is a quintic function quintic double bump function uh and i want to give a shout out to iman nadidio i don't know why i can never say this dude's name when i'm recording i can always say it when i get off the recorder but imanadio i think his name is i want to give a shout out to him because a few months ago i uh, was in a forum and I, I asked someone if they had ever done a, a Stengel dive and he showed a real quick graph of what he did to do them. So that was the basis for this. I ended up changing it a little bit um, from what he did, but I do want to give that shout out to him because he was the first person that ever really showed me the proper technique for that. So um, what you do is use a quintic function, which can be very useful at times for making something roll and then roll right back to... Uh, uh, zero. So you can see here when you do quintic double bump. Now quartic is normally just uh, well, that's not helping. Let's go back to quintic. <clears throat> Symmetric. No, we want double bump one. So what that does is make it roll up, roll back the opposite direction, and then roll to zero. So it's really helpful for something like this for doing this kind of dive right here. Uh, I had to fool around with it a little bit to get the right angle. It's it's long. It's 5.1 seconds over the course of all this rolling. Uh, it's about 66 degrees, which doesn't really tell you too much about when you're riding the actual coaster. Because you can see here, when we get to right here, this is the most banking in it. And it's 120.179. So... Uh, and I also fooled with the tension, uh, or the center rather. This is the center and the tension occasionally I'll fool around with, but most of the time I don't. But you can see I have it all the way up at one. Uh, if I take it down to what it normally is, the whole thing looks, the graph itself looks more um, symmetrical, but the element looks a little bit weird. So if I start changing the center back to one, we move the center uh, closer together and then the whole thing just looks better so occasionally if you're having trouble with something and you need to figure out or you can't figure out what's wrong try using the center and the tension the tension will make the graph whoops what's happening here you see you, you can see how the graph changes there um, from where it, it starts rolling and stops rolling so you can fool around with that sometimes and really get it to look much better uh, than what it pr was previously so that's it. You can see this is a fairly simple element. It's just going down in forces, up, down in forces again, and then finally you're going back into your positives. And we're just using a very simple quintic function right here, quintic double bump function over the, the course of this turn. And then I did put a, I did roll it back to zero right there because it was just a little bit off. So if we actually ride this, let's go back and ride it. And I think I fooled with it a little bit and got it out of whack. So it's not 100% perfect. But coming out of the hammerhead 
and up into the Stengel Dive. So it looks a little bit different. It rides a little bit slower than the the one on Goliath. It's just higher up here. But I think once this is imported into No Limits, it'll look really good. So like I said, I'm going to include a link to this in the description. So go ahead and download that file if you want to take a look at it. And of course, we also have our right here is our hammerhead turn. And here's the Stengel dive. So uh, this is going to be a fairly complex coaster in terms of recreations of elements so uh we'll see what's up next i was thinking of just doing a loop or something like that but if anyone has any uh requests go ahead and give them to me i'd like to try something new i'm really enjoying the fact that people are asking me to do things that i haven't done before uh so go ahead and do that if you need to see something otherwise that's it i will see you next time take care and enjoy the ride